My name is Erica and I have myotonic dystrophy. My name is Hunter and I have myotonic dystrophy. My name is Renee and I have myotonic dystrophy. My name is Sam and I have myotonic dystrophy. It's a genetic disease that can affect every part of your body. This disease is variable, which means that people have different symptoms and different levels of severity. There are several different types of myotonic dystrophy, including congenital, juvenile onset, and adult onset types one and two. Myotonic dystrophy passes from one generation to the next, and the symptoms get worse with each generation. Like all muscular dystrophies, we experience muscle wasting and weakness. Fatigue and significant daytime sleepiness is a big part of myotonic dystrophy. I used to work eight hours a day, but now I can only work four, mainly because of my fatigue. Myotonic dystrophy has had a profound impact on my GI system. This condition affects most people's ability to work full time. People forget that you have muscles that help you swallow, process food, breathe, even your heart is a muscle. All these muscles can be severely affected by DM. I have a defibrillator because my heart beats erratically or sometimes it just stops. I love to play sports, but I can't play them right now because when I run, my heart rate increases and my implanted defibrillator goes off. Continually coming to terms with the progressive nature of DM is the real challenge. Having muscular dystrophy means that you are constantly having to confront things that you can no longer do as easily as before. Not only is this a physical disease, but it can also involve intellectual and developmental disabilities. Sam is a creative and loving 12-year-old kid, but he has significant cognitive and physical disabilities. He will never be independent, and he will need the support of his family for his whole life. I worry all the time about Billy Dean's future as the DM progresses. I had to adjust my career and retirement plans. I'll need to provide for him and protect him even after my death. Last year, I lost both my brother and my sister when they were unable to recover from general anesthesia after surgery. Because their respiratory systems were really weak, the anesthesia was incredibly hard on them. These are some of the faces and voices of the myotonic dystrophy community, and this is what it's like to live with DM. The reality is daunting. It's likely that more than 100,000 people in the United States alone have myotonic dystrophy, and most are undiagnosed. It often takes 10 years or more to get a DM diagnosis due to the complicated nature of this disease. The cost of myotonic dystrophy to people living with this disease, their families, the healthcare system and social services is immense. At MDF, we've been focused on care and a cure for myotonic dystrophy since 2007. And while living with this disease is devastating for families, there has never been a more hopeful or pivotal time for our community.